Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. Let's talk about the changes in Microsoft OneNote. So this is the Microsoft OneNote app that was formerly or has been called OneNote 2016. It's part of Microsoft 365. And uh, there are some drastic changes in the look of it. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at what those changes are and we'll also talk about when you might possibly be receiving it. So on my screen, you see two OneNote screens side by side. On the left here is the OneNote app as it normally is with the classic ribbon at the top and the tabs uh, for our sections at the top and the pages on the right side. So this view is the default view within the, the OneNote app. Now on the right side is what the new Microsoft OneNote looks like. And uh, so that's coming through as an update. And what's so interesting about this is I was just actually teaching a group of people uh, from the same organization uh, about a week ago, and uh, they all had OneNote on their machines. It's the same organization, and about a third of them had the new OneNote app, and they didn't even know how they got it. We didn't know why they had it, and other people didn't. It's just part of that rollout scheme that Microsoft has where not everybody has the new updates at the same time. So let's just talk a little bit about that first. So I'm gonna minimize my OneNote screen here a little bit. I've just got it maximized to show you this page. So I'm gonna go out of, go out of this view, back to normal view, and I am in the new version of the OneNote app here. So I'm just gonna take you around a little bit. First of all, let's talk about how you can update your OneNote. And updating your OneNote might be more uh, coming from your IT department. So if you have an IT person or IT department that looks after all your updates, then it might be that, that those people that you need to get in touch with to find out about these updates. Uh, if this is for your own personal work computer and you're more in charge of that and you don't see the changes, then let's talk about how you go about getting that change. So we can go to the file menu and then from the file menu account and from account, you go to update options and from there you can say update now and that could bring through the newest version of the Microsoft OneNote for the 365 app. Now, just, just so you know, as far as I know, there isn't a way to undo that update. You can talk with your IT professionals about whether there is or not. I don't know of any ways to updo that. So if you check click that button, then it's, it's, it's going, right? So let's look at what's changed. So we have a smaller, uh, sleek toolbar at the top, and then we have our pages on the left-hand side. And the first question that comes to mind is where did our sections go? So if you know um, how screens look by now, you might have noticed that lots of times when you want to find out more or get more from your menus is that you're looking for three dots or three something. So you see, I mean, on my toolbar, there's three dots. So that tells me there's more buttons or more commands. And if I look way over on the left side here, there are three lines. So the three lines is the sidebar and that's where you can find your sections and actually your notebooks. So if I click on those three lines, it opens up to I'm in the classroom notebook and I'm in the introduction section. So the sections are what typically would show on the top here. So three lines. So that's, that's our first, first big change is just going to find how do I get to back to my sections and my, and my notebooks. So the neat thing about how they've arranged this, I mean, this view, by the way, is looking more and more like what the view is on the web app. Uh, that's This is how the view um, has been on Microsoft OneNote for Windows 10. And this is also more closely um, resembling the view that's in Microsoft Teams when you open up a OneNote notebook. So they're just trying to get the view all consistently looking the same no matter what application you open OneNote in. Uh, so, but the thing that's a little bit different here uh, is that, that it's putting the notebooks on the left side and then underneath is your section. So if I collapse this notebook called classroom, you'll see I have a projects notebook and then I have sections there. I, uh, I can collapse that, HR notebook and sections there. So I can easily move from one notebook to another or from one, to, from one notebook and section to another pretty quick by just expanding or collapsing it. So let's go back to our classroom notebook here. Now let's say you don't like the toolbar being this condensed view. You like the toolbar as it was before. What you can do is go to the very right end of this toolbar where there's a little arrow and click on that and go back to classic ribbon. So that makes the toolbar look pretty much very close to how it was previously. And let's say another change that you're not so happy about is the fact that sections are on the left-hand side. We can go back to having sections back at the top here. If we go to our view 
ribbon and then choose from there tab layouts and horizontal tabs. So there you go. It's looking very close to how it was. The pages have moved over to the left. You could have done that in the other version if you knew the settings for that. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it's looking more similar to how you had it. So you can certainly change it back to the way you had it, or you know, you can you can try something new and uh, try and get used to the new method and see. Because remember, this is looking more like those other places that you can look at. OneNote. So this is looking more like what the Teams view is or what the view in the web app is. So, so just see how you feel about it. But the great news here is you have choices, right? So, so let me know in the comments below whether you have the new version of OneNote, if you're looking forward to this version update, uh, or if you still have more questions about it. All right. So good luck. Bye-bye.